first card is the solitude card. So it seems like you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, you know, this man's got his oars above the water. So you're not moving anywhere. Uh, you're not, you know, planning on going anywhere. It seems like he's emotionally stuck a little bit there because he's on the water. But also because he hasn't got his... Um, you know, oars in the water. It doesn't seem like you're you're getting over a situation as well. So you know, it seems like um, you might be still feeling very emotional about whatever this this ending was that you went through. You haven't made inroads to move forward. Uh, it seems like you don't want to move forward because he's got his back turned to the future in a sense. Uh, and you know, you don't. You, you you. It looks like you prefer to to be by yourself rather than actually, uh, you know, get involved with anybody at the moment. Maybe you're hoping for a reconciliation, but it seems like there might be somebody. Uh, maybe whoever you've broken up with might be trying to make uh, some kind of effort to get back together with you or to kind of reconcile with you because there's this reconciliation it's either that or you're trying to reconcile with this person maybe this is the reason why you're you're a bit stuck emotionally you don't want to move forward maybe you're hoping that this person comes back with an apology and uh that's that's why you know you're waiting for them to come back but you you haven't made uh, a concerted effort to try and move forward you've got um a fair or gray-haired man this person seems to be featuring pretty heavily um uh, around you it might be uh, somebody that you turn to for support uh, because you've got the happiness card of here and you've got this dog so this person whoever is around you is very supportive of you they're giving you a shoulder to cry on uh they're you know uh, allowing you to get over whatever problems you are in and you're using them more as a support structure than anything else but emotionally you still seem to be uh pretty much stuck there now going to the future you've got hidden enemies so just watch out for who you trust um you know it might be prudent for you to just keep to yourself there with that solitude card because there seems to be things going on behind the scenes there could be hidden enemies there's certainly some kind of news that's going to come to light over here there's a scandal card over here so something uh, that is you're going to hear something um, it might be through the grapevine somebody gossips about it some kind of information will come to light uh, to you it's going to be shocking um, news that you will hear maybe with regards to this person that you've been holding a candle for, um, but it might be something that you didn't expect. So there's something that is going to come to light with the scandal uh, card, and it's going to be quite a by accident that you actually hear this bit of news. So uh, just be on the alert for that, but just watch out who you trust with that hidden enemies card. Somebody is not um, doing things that is very nice, and they're doing it behind the scenes there, and it might be to your detriment. So just be careful who you trust. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Cups, the Strength card, the Tower, the Seven of Cups. There's a Seven of Coins there as well. So you start off with the Four of Coins, being very, very worried about money, looking, you know, this is about handling a lot of paperwork, but worried about money. Uh, this has been eating at you as well, uh, you know, pressurizing you. So financial situation is not very, very good at all, and you're pretty worried about it. Uh, you're doing a lot of research, it seems, or you could be handling a lot of financial details as well. There's a lot of paperwork that you seem to be handling at the moment. So it's pretty much worried about money over here. And you've been looking to a lot of options as well. So going through appear very 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 confused and also considering a lot of financial options about what you want to do if you um, you know you might be looking for a new job you might be putting your cv out you might be putting uh looking to see what other options you have available to you to even uh, generate finances with that seven of coins but you're going through a period where you know there's a little bit of procrastination as well going on over there you're not quite sure what to do and how to go about doing it it's leading to emotional confusing a uh, confusion feeling a little overwhelmed there but you are you know you are putting out uh, feelers you are trying to make applications as well you've got the tower card over here so something has come in that's caused a little bit of a crisis over here so whatever's happened has got you thinking pretty hard you're feeling uh, you know as though your world is pretty much broken down uh feeling a little upside down you've got these crows over here and they tend to eat the you know um the the carcasses there um, you know they almost uh, look like they're picking up on pieces so you know everything had fallen apart for you there's been some kind of big crisis that you went through and you're trying to rebuild um, you know you can see that strength card over here it's, it's about recovering and you're going through that phase of recovery at the moment uh, you know you're getting back your confidence again you're starting to walk tall um, you know and you're looking uh, you you're coming to terms with what had ever happened 
So you're, you're getting out of it, but pretty slowly. Um, you've got the Ten of Cups. It seems like you've ended relationships with people from the past, or you've ended that past completely. From an emotional point of view, you've laid everything to rest. It seems like whatever you've ended was, uh, you know, uh, caused a lot of unhappiness. You've got a lot of blood in these cups over here. So it's almost as though, you know, it made your heart bleed, whatever happened. So it was very, very distressing, very upsetting. And you have now thought about it long and hard. You can see he's got this huge feather on his cap there. And you have made a change. You have cut ties with all the people that you may have known in the past. So it seems like you have finished that cycle. You are now moving on. It was very upsetting. Whatever happened, you had loss of security, financial loss, uh, you know, loss of luck. But you are now recovering with that strength card. And with that recovery is coming that realization that you are now finished and done with the past. And you are now going to move on. Okay, so what's happening with you? You've got the Four of Swords and the Knight of Coins. So there is a need for you to take some time out, some rest. You could be dealing with some physical illness over there. Um, you know, dealing with a lot of pressures, a lot of stress. Uh, there is a need for you to take a time off and have some relaxation. Now that we're going into the holiday season, make sure you get a good rest, get some sleep, watch out for your help. And come up with a new plan and strategy about what, what you want to do for the next year. So make sure that you are, uh, you know, writing down all the things that you want to achieve for next year or what you hope to achieve. You've got the Knight of Coins over here. So you might need to do some research with regards to your work or even some further study. Um, things seem to be a little bit stuck right now. And maybe that's a good thing because you do need to take a little bit of rest. You've been working really, really hard. Uh, and it looks like you need to take some time out and recuperate and get your strength back. And while you're doing that, you know, catch up on your reading, really. You might even be thinking about doing some further training or further course of study as well in order to improve your career prospects. Now, in the past, you got the Ten of Wands, so you were carrying a lot of burdens, responsibilities, dealing with a lot of things. You had too much on your plate over there. And you had to deal with a lot of problems as well. So you've got the Six of Swords, and this is about being organized. You're getting things in order now. It seems like even with this Ten of Wands, being in order, but having too much of burdens and responsibilities, it looks like you're moving away from all the stress and conflict that you went through. If you had legal battles that you had to uh, go through and there was a lot of anxiety it seems like now things are starting to calm down or starting to uh, you know settle down and you are moving away from that um, place where you were you know in a state of high anxiety and high conflict it, it's things are starting to settle down you've got the eight of swords here so you're still feeling very frustrated it's very very stuck and also you can see she's wearing blindfolds so you're not quite sure what you want to do and where you want to go to so there is that element that You've ended things, but you're not sure how to move forward. Um, so you're taking a stab in the dark there. Uh, you know, you, you're actually doing things by the seat of your pants over here. And this is not a good thing. You need to be planned up. So it's a good time for you to sit down and make some concrete plans. Now, going to the future, you've got the Seven of Wands over here. So there will be problems that you will have to face. You might have to face difficult people, people who are very critical or people causing a lot of problems. Watch your back but also stand up for yourself. So whatever your belief system is, defend it. Um, now, you've got the King of Wands over here, so there's a need for you to take control of that situation. You might have started a new enterprise, a new business venture, and you are heading this particular project. There could also be a new job offer that comes in over there with that King of Wands, so somebody offering you a position of authority. There might be a lot more freedom with this job, a lot more travel as well with this job, but you're certainly going to be overseeing some project with that King of Wands, and it's a position of authority. You've got the Knight of Cups, so you can see there's this new offer coming in over here, and it might be even a job overseas because it's the knight of cups there could also be some further learning or further training so you're thinking of doing that and it looks like that's going to present itself to you some kind of further training or further learning or opportunity to uh, further your career by doing some kind of bridging course you've got the nine of wands over here so you're still very defensive it looks like you have some kind of decision to make you can see there's these two two deer in the background over there it's about travel, but it's also about deciding, weighing up the pros and cons as well, making a pros and cons list. This is important. Whatever is going on, you need to hang in there, be a bit more resilient because it's it's almost over whatever you're going through. It's about to change. Uh, so you're feeling very tired, you're worn out really after going through all of this uh, seven of wands, having to deal with lots of problems there. The nine of wands is coming in to tell you to just hang in there a little longer. It's all about to come to a good conclusion because you've got the ten of coins there 
So money is going to come in. So all that hard work is about to pay off. Uh, you know, and you're going to be able to build a legacy there. You got the magician. This is about starting afresh, starting something brand new, starting a new life. Because he's jumping out from this reality into that reality that's behind the mirror there. But also with the magician, this is about making a fresh start, having all the tools in your hands. Uh, you know, as if by magic. So whatever you're doing, you're very, very good at it. Good communication. There's going to be a lot of uh, meeting of people, a lot of intellectual work, the meeting of minds. And even whatever projects you put out is going to be coming back successfully. A lot of communication coming in over there. Um, you know, maybe in working with people from the overseas front, a lot of travel. But there's success that comes in with this uh, Three of Wands. There's also a lot of hard work because this is about success coming in because you are working hard. So the magician is talking about working hard, multitasking, juggling, communicating, uh, being very clear-minded about what you're doing and being very open um you know speaking very clearly about what you want as well and being able to manifest things it's all up to you uh, you know they say the ball is in your court right now and whatever you're working with whatever projects you put out will come back successfully there is that overseas um element going on with this three of wand a lot of overseas communication coming in but also projects going in and coming back successfully successful ventures there so you're in the throes of things and it's all going to gener generate a lot of money and abundance. There's a lot of grapes on this card over here. And a lot of people giving you a lot of recognition. You can see this, these people are almost worshipping this woman here. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of uh, acclaim coming with it, a lot of recognition, uh, a lot of people knowing and appreciating whatever talents you have. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the wolf pack here. And let's see what it says. So the first card is decisions. Realize the decision you are making at this time could make or break your life. Seek good advice and you will make the right decision. So whatever choices you are faced with right now, you might need to get some advice about what to do. So you are making big decisions for big, and you have big plans for the future. You've got a long journey. You're about to embark on a long journey. This could be for a career or love. New opportunities await you and all will be successful. So there's this pathway opening up for you over there. Whatever you're deciding to embark on, you can see that with the Three of Wands. Uh, this is almost like the start of your journey there. It looks like it's all going to be very, very successful. This magician is almost like the Ace of Wands there. And you've got that Three of Wands. So whatever you do is going to be very, very successful. And it's going to be something that progresses. And you've got a battle over here. At this time, a battle with a loved one or friend could indicate a struggle with a career or a job. It may lead to an ending. Uh, possibly a battle within oneself. So you need to pray and meditate. So you might have conflicts with people around you. But also, you know, whatever you're going through right now, whatever new path you're going, it's not going to be as easy as you'd like it to be. Uh, there will be struggles, but you will be able to overcome this. So, you know, if you are having problems with somebody, rather walk away from conflict and, uh, you know, um, count to 10, really, um, especially during the holiday season when you have to run into family. Uh, don't let anybody get under your skin and just, you know, don't be uh, pulled into any kind of uh, fights or, or things that are going to drain your energy. Concentrate on your on your career and focus on yourself. And, um, you know, this is how you will make progress. You've got the Prince of Summer over here. So this is... Um, um, this is the Knight of Cups, and uh, this is about, um, well, this Prince of Summer is the Page of Cups. So this is a message coming in about a new offer, a new job. You could be even thinking about relocating. There's a good offer coming in for you over there. It's got to do with work. This could be even an offer coming in for study, uh, you know, for you to take on a new course. Um, you might be even thinking of buying a new home, so this could be news coming in about that. There's some movement coming in over here, some travel also coming in over here. And this this fairy is riding a dandelion, so everything is possible. Luck is coming your way over here. So this is some good news coming in for you that's going to make you pretty happy. You've got the five of winter over here, so it says walk away from dishonest associations. And realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness. Something that is not worth the effort. So there's a realization that's going to come. And you're going to hear some kind of news. And that finally is going to give you closure. And this is what you've been waiting for for a long time. And this is going to allow you to move away from whatever has been holding you back. Because you've been emotionally stuck. And this news is coming in. And this closure is what you do need. And once you get that closure and walk away from it, the Empress comes in. And this is you at your best. Um, so... 
you know, this tells you that you need to take action and there's success that follows. And it's going to be a life of luxury that comes in for you. So whatever is coming, whatever this news is coming in with this page of summer, and it's going to bring closure for you. It might be a bit painful, but it's going to allow you to move forward and it's going to allow you to manifest you at your best. The Empress is the Queen of Queens. It's a card that's ruled by Venus and it's a card that ruled, is ruled by Taurus. So besides the Hierophant, the, the Empress is the only other card in the, the deck that is a Taurus card. And it's the Queen of Queens. So you are reaching your heights. And once you get that closure, you'll be able to manifest everything that you want that will make you happy. Um, you know, a life of luxury is what it says. So, you know, just hang in there. Whatever is going on, it's going to be successful. There's going to always be ups and downs in life's journey. Uh, but you will be able to manifest with that magician. Whatever projects you put out, whatever you do, whatever work you're doing, it's going to be very successful. It's going to bring in the coin. You've got 10 of coins there and the empress. So you're definitely going to be able to manifest money without a doubt. So just hang in there. Even though things went completely badly, uh, you know, it seems like things are about to change for the better. And, uh, you know, um, you once you get closure, that will be it. You'll be moving on into a different realm. Like this magician is jumping into a new reality. This is what is going to happen to you. You will jump into a new reality. Something you didn't expect, it, a new world coming up for you there.